In other job news tonight, with the end of the space shuttle program set for this summer, thousands of NASA workers in Florida are getting ready for pink slips. Kelly Cobiea has the story of what it all means for the workers and for the place they live. Com check 188. With the launch of Shuttle Atlantis just three weeks yeah, away, one sample per Barbara second. Kennedy yeah. is focused and not just at the job at hand. And those commands are off at this time. Inside the Launch Control Center, Kennedy has worked on every space shuttle launch for the past 24 years. But once this mission ends, so does her job with United Space Alliance, NASA's biggest contractor. Here's the letter. It's the pink slip and it's not pink. Barbara is a single mom with a son heading off to college. On July 22nd, she'll be unemployed. I'm thankful that we have another launch to keep us busy, so it kind of keeps your mind off the impending deadline. But um, it's coming, and you think about it a lot. 2,300 shuttle workers will lose their jobs in July, on top of 4,300 who already have. Brevard County has lost more jobs in the last year than any other county in the state. Florida's Space Coast is trying to lure new companies with incentives like tax breaks and grants for employee training, but they see the vast NASA talent pool as their main draw. If you think about it, we have an area of of workers that are that are three generations deep in working in the space industry. You can't there's not an incentive in the world that could create that. It was a big selling point for Brazilian jet maker Embraer. The company opened a new 80,000 square foot assembly plant here in February. So far, they've hired 18 former shuttle workers. How many people do you have applying for those jobs? Over 5,000. For how many positions? 200. Defense Department contractor AAR moved in down the street in April, bringing 225 jobs. Joe Urick was hired six weeks after being laid off. I feel badly for my you know, past co-workers that are still unemployed. It's hard to see them struggle at the same time while I'm being able to maintain. Barbara Kennedy spends all of her spare time at job fairs and networking meetings. She's selling her house, downsizing, and sending out resumes. There's good days and there's bad days and gee, gee what am I going to do? And it's uncertain. You do get a little nervous about that. But I think I never give up, just never give up. Determination that helped her rise at NASA and that she'll need to launch into a new career. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.